Hello to everyone. How are you? This is Joanna and today I want to share with you what I went out and got today. I went to a mix of places as usual. Um, somewhere on the same strip. A couple were in the mall so I didn't go too many places but I did go to Target and Staples. Um, and I think I did not go to Home Depot or Walmart while I was on that strip. Well I did go into Walmart. I'm wrong. I did go into Walmart. I'll have to figure out what it was I got from Walmart because I didn't see the Walmart bag. <laughs> but I also went to our Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale and I went back to our Bath and Body Works one. A lot of the Boardwalk Taffy and the Twinkling Nights and the newest collection with the Honeysuckle Peach and Champagne Sprinkles is all 75% off but I got everything. I did that adjustment yesterday and the little girl remembered my receipts and was telling me that some more stuff and I told her that was just a one and done for me. Usually when I'm doing adjustments, it's for one thing. Like when I got those candles that time and I got $65 back because the candle day was coming up back when they were like $8 and some change and they were $12.95 or $12 something. So I don't usually do adjustments like that, even though I have shared that on here many, many times, many years ago. I told her that was just a one and done. I was not going to wait for something else that wasn't 75% and bring it back. It was just yesterday. So I'm going to share with you what I got. I got a bit of a headache and I tend to, sometimes I know, talk too fast to get my information jumbled up. So I'm going to try to be as clear as possible. I do have a spoiler alert, guys. In Target, the woman smelled my, my scrub. She didn't have on a mask. Y'all know I don't like that. And then in Victoria's Secret, the little girl dropped my mist. And sometimes that can cause problems. It also dings the product. And I have a problem with that. I try not to be too picky, everybody. But you know, when you take the time to pick your items and maybe the items that you're choosing from, some are damaged or something's wrong and you pick out what you consider that perfect thing and then they drop it, to me, they should get you another one. Hands down, those floors are concrete or whatever that hard material is. She should have got me another one. I can't go back anywhere till Monday because I go to work today. It's not my normal work day, but I was asked to do a 2.30 to 6.30, which means I might get out of there at 8.30. But I'm going to share with you what I got really quickly, and I hope you will enjoy this. I have a few different items. I have a few of the same items. And I have two new items to share with you that I normally don't share. This is the second time I'm saying that, but the second time I'm going to share with you, they are women's personal care items. So if there are any males watching, I'll let you know when I get to that. You might not want to see it. It's not bad. It's not gory, but it's not interesting to a male unless they're a single male with a daughter or looking for something for their wife. So first off, you see here. They had another one of these little cranberry and almond chicken salad sandwiches. I do like these. I was trying to contemplate if I wanted to buy a couple of extra ones and bring them home, but not today because I knew that I was going to be out. Usually, if I'm going to Target to get any food, I have to be going there just for that and coming straight home. So they're not bad. I would probably buy two or three and take them to work. They're perfect for when you're just out and you're hungry and you just want something to eat because I left this morning at 6.15. And I'm just now getting home and it is after 12, 12 in the afternoon. So I got this little sandwich and I didn't want water this time. I wanted some tea. And wouldn't you know, well, the very time that I'm looking for bottled tea, I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> Any other time, it's all over the place. So I did get me this green goodness drink. Now, while I was out, I scoped the Starbucks across the street. I scoped the Starbucks that was in Target. I don't think I went to any more because I'm still looking for my cups. We know that they're coming later. I do know that I do want the soft touch black. Um, I just can't decide, guys, if I want it in both sizes or the venti and the grande, if I'm saying that right. That'll be the first time I think I will want a cup in both sizes. I decided that's a nice basic cup and I do want it. And I do want our blue one, but I only want it in venti and I would probably get two. And then I also want um, that turquoise one that Miss Kim shared with me. Now, my little anniversary cup sold on eBay. I saw that today. And then as soon as I saw that, the person wanted to cancel. And I let them because I might just keep that cup. I don't know if it will affect my rating because I have a 100% seller's rating because I rarely sell. But I did screenshot that they wanted to cancel. I screenshotted my reply. And then I went ahead and canceled their order. So... Now that I've wasted four minutes of our time, I'm going to share with you what I got. 
Stop the Chick-fil-A and got a soda. So I'm going to share with you first what I got from Staples because that is the least amount of things that I purchased. And if you're interested in little pins and things like that, I did go ahead and get these Sharpie um, metallic markers. I have a gold and a silver. And I'm thinking that when I got those, I purchased those straight out. Um, and they were separate. Like, I think I had a need for one or the other. But this time, I wanted the color ones to write on my little black boxes for my Maniology nail stamping. And sometimes I have found that I do have a need for a colored metallic marker. So I got these right here. And then I went back after my Extreme Sharpies, guys. I really love these. I have a pack around here I cannot find. And these write on our med cups. So if you have med cups that your normal Sharpie used to write on, and they no longer work on those because they changed our med cups, try these. Um, it had said that it worked in most, um, it worked for most things, which it worked for those for me. And I noticed that they had a professional grade one and a heat grade one. They didn't come in extreme, but I just noticed different Sharpies I had never seen before. They had online a pack of these of 12 for $19.99, and I was going to get it in the store. I didn't see it. And then I decided I would save some money and just get this little four pack again because it's $8 and some change. And it doesn't matter, guys, because when I went into Target, I spent like $111. So I wanted more pens because I gave away one of my ink pens at work and y'all know me well enough by now that when I give away one thing it means I have to go buy multiples. So I went to get more of the pink cancer pens which is these. One of the nurses at my job liked it because she said she could refill it. And then when I did that, I spied these. So if you are a supporter of cancer and you like to purchase cancer items like I do, these are at Staples. And these, I guess, are if you don't like pink, maybe. Some people don't want pink, but I do love both of these. And I'm going to be taking these into work tonight. I did find an extreme one in my bag, so I won't open up that one. And these are for home use. And then I went ahead and got this little calculator for just $5 and some change. She asked me if I wanted um, to get a protection plan. And I didn't because this is for my home use when I'm um, doing things in my checkbook and things like that. Because I have one. I had one in my purse. I don't anymore. And the one that I had in my purse is dying. I have that new one that I would have hauled with you a while ago. And I just don't want to put it in my purse yet because I need to get a new work purse. And it needs to be a little bit bigger, but it needs to be able to withstand being shoved in my locker. So these are the items that I got from Staples. I went ahead and got more of these pads for the Shark Vac Mop because these were on sale for $6.99. And I tend to worry about things like that because you never know when they're going to stop making um, what you need for these. And the liquid solution was also on sale, but they didn't have any. So hopefully there will be more of these, but I think with this pay and the next pay, I'm going to buy as many of these as I can because I really do like my little shark back mop. And now that I know that between Home Depot and Walmart and Target, um, I can get the solution. I'm just going to get it wherever I see it for the pads and the solution. And now we're going to talk about a feminine product in case there are any guys and they want to zone out, but... Um, normally, like I said, I don't show these, but ladies, I want to share this with you. I found these. Um, I needed to get some Always Thin, and actually, for the age that I am, I should not still be having this problem, but I have found that um, the unwanted flow is heavier than normal. Like, it's not to the point of where I need to go to a doctor. It's just kind of a little bit heavier than normal. And you've heard me say when I'm at work, I actually wear double protection. I will wear one of these, and then I will also wear my Playtex Super or Super Plus. And I only do the double protection when I am at work. Other than that, the only time I utilize my Playtex is when I want to take a shower. Because used to be I would cut off at night. I don't know why. <laughs> now I tend to stay on. And when I'm home and I want to take a bath the most. And I had that happen to me one time, guys, where I wasn't working. I was a weekend worker. And I couldn't take a bath for like three days because all that I had was the always pads. And I didn't have any Playtex. And that's how I learned my lesson. So... I only utilize the Playtex when I'm at work and when I want to take a shower. For the rest of that, I do use these pads, but they had these. Now, I'm still going to go back on Monday 
and get the ones that I'm used to, which is the normal overnight always. But I did want to go ahead and try these. Then what I spied next to these guys was these. And these range in small to extra large. And these are the disposable underwear. Now, I mentioned these on a video a few years back. Right before they made Tenna a thing and the incontinence underwear a thing, we had the always, they were called disposable underwear for when you are on, you know, your time of the month. And I think they were $3.99. You got like three in a pack. I loved them. They were like disposable paper underwear, but they didn't seem like that under your clothes. Like nobody knew unless you told them. And I love them because... It meant that you didn't damage, you know what I mean, your own underwear sometimes if you can have a leak or anything like that. So as long as these are back, I'm going to get some more. And they're black because the seal was broken inside of here. And I did not realize that the seal was broken. So I'm going to try to see if I can open it up and show you one. But they are black. Now, before they were that tan color. But I got mad because once they took these off the market, they started making the incontinent type pads. And I said, well, maybe they were just testing these out on us. But they look like this. So they almost do look like the Depends that people wear. Um, but these were made for us first. So I just get extra large just because I don't know. It was either, I think it was extra small, small, medium, or something like that. And then this one was large to extra large. Yes. So I don't know. I just went ahead and got these, but these are black. So if you have a heavy time or you know what I mean? You just don't want to mess up your clothes or you're like me and you're at work. You know what I mean? You can take, so this is going into my little arsenal kit. I'm going to take a couple of these, the wipes, my Playtex, you know, my pads and just have these, you know, because I'm going to go back. They, I had these from Target and then they also had them at Walmart, which I didn't know, but I'm going to go back guys. And these are inexpensive. Each pack, these were $6.99. You get seven. The pads were $6.99 and you get 20 of those. But I'm also going to get the regular overnight ones. I do get the thin ones sometimes. My daughter prefers those. But for the most part, I need the thicker ones um, even when I'm at work. So if you're looking for anything like this for that time or you have, you know, your younger ones, you know, look into that. So now we're going to move to the rest of what I got from Target. Now I realize why I did not have a bag from Walmart, guys. I had only purchased three things, and I had told them that I didn't need a bag because I had so much stuff. Now, it was my intent while I was out today that if I saw the brown sugar scrub, I would get two. If I saw the plain one, I would get one. And if I saw this one, I would get one. Now, I gave a brown sugar scrub away. So again, you know what that means with me. I have to buy multiples. My goal is to buy two or three, even though I probably don't need any. And I will say this about me, guys. If there is any items that I probably have a lifetime supply for however much time I may have left on this earth and I don't need to buy anymore, it would be soap body wash, lotion, and probably shampoo and conditioner. I probably don't need to buy any more of those for whatever time that I have left. So I do need to slow it down. But it's so hard when they come out with things that you like. So I did get this one. Now at Walmart, they had the plain and they had the pomegranate. So I did get another um, colloidal oatmeal and calendula oil. And I do have the bars for this. But today I saw this, and I don't remember if I got the body wash or not, quite frankly. So I went ahead and got this foamy one, which I will put this into use now. And then they had the um, mocha and coffee bean. Now I do have one of these already. So when I saw a chance to get a second one, guys, I took it. Because y'all know that I have the Vanilla Cafe Mocha, um, whatever Bath and Body Works had released, which I like. Because it's... It's like that sweet without being sweet. It's sort of like the Victoria's Secret um, summer, that summer that they had when they had all those different sprays, the one that was called summer that said island hopping. It's a, a nice scent, but it's not sweet. So the vanilla mocha in the Bath and Body Works line was that scent that was nice. It was sweet, but it wasn't sweet, if you get what I'm trying to say. But I also have coffee soap, and I think I have the Suave Coffee um, Scrub Wash. So that'll be good for that. So I went ahead and got those items. And then everything else, guys, I got from... 
Target, which is why I spent too much money. I got another pack of these pens because I really, really love them. And I also can't find the ones that I have around here. And I had been buying this navy blue one separately at Walgreens, but they were charging $2.49. My favorite pens that I have actually used up is the navy and that aqua teal color um that's back here i think this one right here and y'all have seen these pins out of me before because when i was talking about them then i realized that i had a little three pack somewhere that i cannot find i also wanted to get these sharpie ink pens these are what's going to work with me tonight and probably one of those cancer ones but i have to watch it guys because people steal my ink pens sometimes it's by accident i will say that which i still don't like because one of the reasons that i used to have med pens is because i knew they weren't mine if i had my hands on one you know if it wasn't a med pen it wasn't mine but a lot of these pens seem to be popular at my job or they'll see someone with it and then they'll get one so i actually have to keep my pens in my pocket which is really hard when you're working on a med card and if you're working on two med cards and you're trying to keep a pen and a marker on each one the minute someone walks past your card or does something your pen is gone and i am someone that don't play with my pen we had a little guy at one of my jobs i thought it was cute to take my pen when i wasn't at the cart and i got highly irate i said because if i have to write down somebody's vitals or something important you know what i mean you just don't play with my pens i'm one of them people so i also got three of these because i really do like this one and i really do love the paper mate so i already had a three pack in the ink um what is it called in the big gelosity i already had a three pack that i saw and then i wanted to go ahead and get these and then of course i had to go back and get this and these pens guys aren't cheap i think this one back here was 23 this one was 14 this one was maybe like five something a bigger pack was 10 that's why my butt spent so much money but this one right here is one that i took to work the magenta one it came up missing now i'm hoping that it's on me somewhere or in my locker because sometimes if i have a pen in my hand and then I touch my purse or go to my locker, it's in there. Because I can't tell you how many times I've sworn up and down somebody stole something from me only to find out that I had it all along, which is what I'm hoping this case is. So nobody knows that I think they stole my pen, but I had to get a whole nother pack because again, I'm that person. So the next thing that I got, like I said, because I was in there, they had a regular scrub. So I went ahead and got another regular one. And then I got some Excedrin just because that big bottle of 100 that I normally keep at home over there by the microwave, I have depleted that. But I also needed a small bottle to refill my big bottles from, you know, my purse because my other bottles started looking really, really bad. They started looking bad. So this is for everyone that I have seen on here on YouTube talking about this. And I definitely know I've heard um, Miss Self Care Catherine mention this and anyone else because I watch all of those ladies. So this purchase was because of y'all. And I did like this, I smelled it. I wasn't even going after this. I just picked it up, smelled it, liked it, looked up and saw that there was only maybe one more. So I put it in my basket. And since this was an item that I was looking for, even though I haven't used the first one, I went ahead and got this because it was all by itself. And I said I would rather get it now than to miss out. And then this right here is what the lady smelled in Target. I was trying to be cool, guys, because one, I don't like the self-checkout. I don't. I will walk around and walk around until a cash register opens up. And she did say one was supposed to be open okay and not only that um i will go to the service desk of target and walmart and ask if i can pay for something because at walmart here if you have 11 items or less they'll go ahead and let you do that and i want them to get the hint not everybody wants to do that self-checkout i don't because one i have a whole lot of stuff i'm in these stores with a lot of bags i can't not go in the stores with bags because i catch the bus so that bag has stuff I don't want nobody accusing me of nothing at that self-checkout and then they arrest me and then they discover. You know what I mean? I don't even want an accident to occur. I would much rather have my stuff rung up. And I have stood in long lines when these stores have had long lines with just one cashier working. The way that they want us to do that self-checkout, they need to understand there's plenty of us that don't want to. But this woman, guys, she did not have on any mask in Target. And I was happy, though, that she let me come to the register to pay for my stuff. But she opened this up, guys, before I could even catch her and stop her. 
Ooh, let me smell this. Like, hello, you work in the store. I didn't even open it up to smell it. I just picked it up and purchased it. Nobody asked them to do that. The way that I am about this, guys, you've heard me say a bazillion times I was that way before the pandemic. Don't open up somebody's stuff and smell it in front of them and they're trying to purchase it. And I don't know why these stores don't get that and why they don't tell their associates, don't do that. So now I'm going to share with you what I got from Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works. And since Bath and Body Works is on top, we're going to start here. This right here is for my own collection, and I'm going to go back Monday. That gives me two gels, two lotions, and I think I have two creams. I'm not too much on the spray. I might get another spray, or if I know somebody that's looking for this, I might get one because I ain't went through half the sprays that I got, and I know that I don't need. I could probably have two gels, two lotions, two creams, and one spray, and I need to use this stuff. This one was purchased for somebody that wants this um and this isn't for a selling site or anything this is somebody personal so i went ahead and got this set of this because we know i'm not parting with mine but yeah this was all 75 percent off today um and then what i actually went in there for guys was the pocket bags that i said that i was gonna go get so I did get an almond blossom, which this will be going with me to work today because it is for someone if they would like it because they do like almond blossom. I got another lemonade. Also, I got more men's pocket bags. These two will be going to work with me in case a male should want one. So on those, I got marble, Atlantic, and mahogany teakwood, but I also want to include some unscented ones. And then I got another strawberry and kiwi. Um, I haven't smelled or used it yet. The salted caramel one, I'm sorry, salted cucumber, I did have in my pocket. Um, and I like it. When I first put it on, it smells funny, especially I had something on my hands when I first put it on. And then I put it on again when I didn't. And at first, it smells kind of funny-ish still. But then it smells like when you slice cucumbers, the inside with the seeds and the water, and then it dries down to almost nothing, nothing-ish, which I like. I do like that. I want something light. Um, and then I got two more of the Boardwalk Vanilla Cones. I thought they sold out of this. I really love this one because this one's light as well. And I got another Almond Blossom. So these right here will be going to work with me tonight. And that's going to mess with me, guys, because I actually go to work tomorrow. And even though I get off at 6.30, like I said, it's highly probable I will be there until 8.30 because they don't like to let you leave. So now we're going to share what I got from Victoria's Secret. So as you can see, I didn't get much. I got like seven pieces. Um, I went ahead and got the green tea and cucumber. These were not part of the sale, but they are still $12 in the store. And online, they went back up to $18, which I don't see why but i wanted each of these now i do want the counterparts to these there is a wash a scrub and a lotion and these mists so i will just strip them out of my basket online i also want the avocado so i might still do an online order um in which i'll get a few of the pieces that i did not get to get i will probably get the body wash or the lotions to these i'll just get one of each piece because they're not on sale now, what I was looking at yesterday that I decided not to get was these two, but I ended up getting them anyway. Rapture was one of the fragrances that was out when they first um, came about, but I really did favor Encounter. But I did go ahead and get the Rapture set. And then Roxy Marie was sharing this one back when I missed out on this. So I went ahead and got this because I have the purple and the perfume. But it was this that I really, really wanted. I did go ahead and get the cocoa wash to go with the cocoa lotion and the oil that I just purchased. And then this is the one that she, look, she dinged my bottle, guys. That bothers me because that bottle wasn't dinged like that. And when she dropped it. And I said, is my little orange bottle okay? She says, oh, well, I know enough to know that if it shakes or rattles. Yeah, that don't matter to me. You dinged my bottle. A bottle that I picked up that was perfect is now imperfect. I don't like that. And so 
if it don't spray right or just something goes wrong i will be taking this back but there's a good chance guys by the time i make it back monday they'll be out of these because this was something that everybody was looking for anyway so hopefully not and hopefully they'll have more stuff but that is all that i got i don't know if my phone is about to cut off but until the next time everyone have a great day and i cannot wait to see what all you ladies got because i love everybody's take on everything and what all they have in their stores again have a great day